Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my review for Killer Elite, starring Jason Statham, Robert De Niro, and Clive Owen. Now, you're probably going, what's with all the ha ah, and stuff? Well, I've been trying to do this review for the last 30 minutes. The thing is, I try to do the story, explain it, but then I find out I'm going on for about three minutes explaining the story. And you're probably going, for a Jason Statham action movie, really? There is a lot to talk about in the story. So let's get straight into it, and I'm going to explain it as quickly as I can this time. The story for Killer Elite. The story follows Jason Statham's character named Danny, and Robert De Niro's character named Hunter. Now, after a, some things that happen, Danny, Jason Statham's character, doesn't want to be an assassin anymore. I, I think I forgot to mention that before. Uh, they're both assassins. And he doesn't want to be an assassin anymore, so he gets out of it. A year later, after he quits, he finds out that Hunter, Robert De Niro's character, gets kidnapped. And now he has to go and save him by doing this oil baron's bidding, pretty much, by killing a whole bunch of people that killed his sons. That's the story, really. After he kills a couple people, then, of course, you know, pretty much the government and Britain, I think, or England, you know, same place. But, uh, you know, uh, they go after Jason Statham's character because he keeps killing people that they, they don't want killed. And, of course, Clive Owen's character, who is a representative of the secret organization in Britain, uh, is after him. And there you go. There's the story. I'm going to explain it there. I'm just going to leave it off. I actually explained it less convoluted than all the other times. I actually explained a lot more before because... I went, into this, uh, I went into this expecting a stupid story, and I got a convoluted one. I mean, it's not a horrible story, but, I, you know, I usually go into movies that are going to be really story-based. You know, with that frame rate, I mean frame rate, I play too many games. The mind frame that it's going to be a story-based movie, like Inception. I went in going, I have to think. You know, this, I just, I was like, yeah, let's get ready for some stupid, mindless, retarded stuff with Jason Statham and Robert De Niro cut, cutting people in half and stuff. Well, not that, but, you know. And I got a story that was like, you have to pay attention because there's betraying and stuff going on. And I'm like, oh, God. The story isn't terrible. Don't get me wrong. But I wasn't expecting this. So I'm going to give this story a 6 out of 10. Let's go on to the acting. I'm going to get through the acting quick here because, I mean, there is some supporting characters, I mean, supporting actors here and there, but I'm just going to get through the main three. Jason Statham, Robert De Niro, and Clive Owen. Jason Statham is the same he's always ever been. That's not saying a bad thing because Jason Statham does what he does best. He does this kind of, I'm going to talk like this and be badass and then maybe smile sometimes and go, <laughs> and then kill you. That's what he does. And he does it great. Jason Statham, you're a badass, and you're a badass in this film. There's no denying that. Robert De Niro. He's Robert De Niro. He's actually pretty badass in this film. He's Robert De Niro. He's great. All right, Robert De Niro, even in freaking Rocky and Bullwinkle, he was, okay, he wasn't good in that, but, <laughs> but still, even in the Meet the Fockers movies, he wasn't good in that either, but, you know, whatever. He's a good actor in this film, at least, and it's Robert De Niro, so, yeah. Even if he's doing terrible, you're still like, that's Robert De Niro. He's great. Uh, Clive Owen, same thing. Clive Owen is a fantastic actor, and he's proven himself many times to be an awesome action guy, and he proves himself once again. Jason Statham and him fight a couple times, and he holds his own with Jason Statham, I'll tell you that. Uh, because, of course, Jason Statham, we all know from being the badass from Crank and friggin' Transporter and all these other films. Clive Owen, we only see them in a couple movies here and there. Like, most of the time, he's just shooting people. Like, shoot him up, I love that movie, but he's not really doing hand-to-hand. -hand. He's just like... Oh, I jumped out of a helicopter. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, but, yeah, he does a great job in here, and he's he, and he's a good actor. So, you know, everybody does good. And all the supporting actors, whatever, they do good, too. There's no bad performances in here. So, acting, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Let's go on to the action. Yeah, the action of Killer Elite. Now, the action. You're going into this, like I said before, with the story. You're going into this expecting a mindless, dumb action film that actually has Robert De Niro in it. So the action must be awesome, right? The action is okay in the film. There is not that many action scenes, and when there is action scenes, it doesn't last for very long. There is a couple scenes here and there that Clive Owen and Robert, uh, no, not Robert De Niro, that'd be awesome, Robert De Niro and uh, Clive Owen fighting. But no, it's Clive Owen and Jason Statham beating the shit out of each other, and 
Those were really cool action scenes. I love fist fighting, you know, like hand to hand fighting more than shootouts. And there is a few that they're doing this, you know, they're beating people up. I don't know how to fight, but, uh, you know, I don't. This is what I do. And they run away from laughter. Uh, <laughs> um, and that's how I win the fight. Um, but for the most part, there is a couple here and there that are just like, oh, I'm going to kill this guy. Too. He's dead. There you go. There's your action scene. And uh, there's parts where it's just shootouts and they're kind of boring. We've seen shootouts before. Uh, so for the most part, the action is disappointing. Definitely when you look at that trailer and go like, wow, this is so badass. They have a really good selection of music for this freaking trailer. Of course, they have uh, Rock, <laughs> Rock You Like a Hurricane, I think. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, and they have that song there and it's like, pumping you up, you're like, yeah, I want to see some action, and it's really like about four action scenes, and they're okay, but there's not that many, so I'm going to give the action a 7 out of 10. Let's go on to the entertainment and wrap this review up. Entertainment. I was entertained by the film, don't get me wrong, the dialogue wasn't terrible, was expecting it to be horrible, but it wasn't terrible, it was okay. Uh, the action is fun, the acting is good, the story is uh, better than I expected, uh, obviously. But for the most part, the movie is disappointing. So I'm going to give the entertainment a 7.5 out of 10. And out of all the scores, you accumulate them, you add them together. I gave a 6 to story, 8 for acting, 7 for action, and a 7.5 for the entertainment. That comes to 6, 8, that's 14. That's 21. If you add the 7, then you do the 7.5, that's a 28.5 out of a 40. Just round it off to a 29 out of 40. So there you go. There's my review for Killer Elite. I know it was a little bit more mellow than usual, but I'm still not feeling all that great. And uh, yeah, I'm tired. So anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching. If you didn't, then suck my balls. Anyway, there you go. There's my review. Go away. Thank you and goodbye.